creative friends, Jessica Sanders here, ColorMeCreativeArt.com. Today I'm here with my two sets of scribble sticks and my Dina Wakely Media Journal. And we're going to use Ranger's new color reference and create a color wheel in my giant journal. Now I had to turn my camera at a different angle to try and fit it mostly in there. Uh, but I love this thing. It's like so fun. It's giant. It's like you get to work big and be wild and it's great. So let's try it out. Are you ready? I need to find a page that is gessoed. I pre-gessoed a lot of pages. So here's a gesso page right here. This is gessoed also and played around with a little bit. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to turn it upside down a little bit better in my camera view. It doesn't matter, right? It's a color wheel. It's a circle. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. And I'm just using a pencil and a little, you know, stencil. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so I wanted to show you on the Ranger website, they have a great handout, if you will, called Color Confidence with Dina Wakely. It's a great resource. It's free, downloadable, printable PDF. And so I printed mine out so I could show you, and you can go over to Ranger's website and find it. I will leave the link down below for you. But it has this fantastic color wheel with all of Dina's colors, and I have them. I believe I have them all with the scribble stick. So I thought it'd be fun to recreate Dina's color wheel in Dina's journal with the scribble sticks. Um, it has a lot more information about analogous colors and how to use complements and how to use great combinations of colors to bring a lot of pop to your painting. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about all of that. You can read it on our website. I'm just going to make the color wheel. So let's get started. So I have the scribble sticks. I'm going to just start by making some marks around. I know I have 20 colors in 20 colors in this color wheel. I've already counted them. So I need to make 20 marks around my circle. And I'm just going to do that with hmm, I don't know, really, honestly. So I can divide it up. That's what I can do. Okay, that's two, four divide that up, six, divide up opposite sides, there and there. Now I'm divide this in half. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I think I have to divide this up twice, so I'll go opposite. There, 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 and there, there, and there. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty spaces. That's exactly what I needed. So there's a fairly easy way to divide it up. And of course you can continue these lines out. I'm not worried about being perfect here. This is abstract style color wheel here. <laughs> They're obviously not gonna all be the same uh, size and width, but I'm not worried about that. I just wanna see how it looks when you use the scribble sticks to create it. So there's a nice sort of little template for me to follow. And I'm going to put these in color order the way Dina has them. And because my journal is upside down, so I can fit it in the camera, I'm turning my color wheel upside down. It doesn't matter because the colors are written around the circle. And I'm going to start with blushing, which is in the new set, I believe. I need to get my scribble sticks out here. Look at my new set. It's like perfection, right? Here's the one, here are the ones I've been using, right? Messy, messy mess, but still perfect, right? 
and then the new set. Okay, I'm just going to flip it so you need to do that plenty of times. Turn this around, I've got all of my colors. Now let's get started. Starting with blushing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in, we're gonna call this cheddar. Tangerine, I'm gonna start here with blushing. It doesn't really matter. I'm coloring in with a dry crayon and then I'm going to dip it and color even more. So you can see the dry and the not dry. And then I can even take a watercolor brush and pull out that color a little bit. There we go. So dry, wet, and continue. Okay, next is Sedona, which is also in the new set. Like, I am coloring on gesso paper. Oh, it got wet. See, see what happened? It got wet. So my, my plan may not work. I may just have to use them wet. But there we go. Dip it. So now you can see wet and dry, and they can just be next to each other. And boom, 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 boom. Nice. Really beautiful. Like, beautiful. Okay. Next is Ruby, which is from the original set. Here. I'm gonna try and do some dry. Not as orangey, a little bit more pinky red. Be able to see that probably more here. Especially when it dries. And also maybe let me pull off that color a little bit. There we go. So this is gonna give me a great idea of how these colors look. Dry wet and with water thinned with water so i think that's pretty cool so this is from the original set next is magenta which i believe is from the first set know your colors that's here okay magenta i'm going to color in here i see a drop of water there so i'm trying to avoid it and i'm coloring fairly hard you know i'm i'm, I'm getting a lot of pigment there on the paper dip it Oh, it really brightens up, see that? These dry really matte, so. Oops, so sorry, I bumped you. They dry really matte, and look at that. Adding that water too, so fun. Next is fuchsia, which is in the new set. Eventually, I'll probably just put all these together, right? But right now, I have them separate. I haven't used the new set very much. I haven't used the old set as much as I want, last year's set as much as I wanted to, really. And now adding water. But this is cool because this is going to show me the difference in the colors in the two sets. And it will show you, so you'll know if you want to get one set, two sets, no sets, you know. <laughs> Completely up to you. Look at that. So this is a more toned down more has more white in it than the fuchsia this has more blue leans more toward the blue a little bit it has a little bit of purpley tone which you expect from fuchsia right okay next is eggplant which is in the new set i didn't realize that my eggplant was missing i had i've been using instead of the eggplant i've been using blackberry a lot so Cool. I'm happy to have eggplant here. This is a great way to sharpen them too if you do this on. Look at that. Look how that color just pops up when you add water. I love that. It's so pretty. This is from the new set. I'm trying to keep them separate. I have them separate here so you can see how I'm organizing used and not used and sort of thing. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let me add some water. These move really nicely on, a, on the gesso. If you like to use them as watercolor, they'll move a lot more on the gesso than they will on the regular watercolor paper. It's a cotton rag paper and it's not as, it doesn't have the sizing that regular water paper has. So it's completely different and very absorbent paper. 
Uh, so next is Blackberry, which is what I said I've been using from the old set as opposed to the eggplant. I love eggplant. I love all these colors, actually. I'm an 80s girl, too. Look at that. I mean, pops that color up. Wow. That's from the first set. I shouldn't call it the old set. None of these are really old. They're just from set one and set two. None of them have been out very long. <laughs> I'm making a rainbow flower. Okay, next is night. Deepest, darkest color, I think, that Dina has. And is from the first set, I believe. Now, that doesn't include black. All right, there it is, I think. Night. I use this one quite often. Oh, try. I almost forgot. So now if you're on the fence about whether you want to buy these or not, I hope this gives you sort of a good idea of how they look in a lot of different ways. It's really great that Rangers provided that tool of the color confidence handout. I'm calling it a handout. It feels like a handout. It's it's really a little mini ebook or, or PDF. So after night is Lapis, which is in the new set. And set two. This is a very purpley blue. Kick it up. So I feel like I'm kicking up the color when I add that water. It's just beautiful. Look at that. It's really amazing, actually. If you ask me, so pretty. It's like an ultramarine blue, you know. If you're one of my watercolor peeps, that's an ultramarine blue. This is more like a phthalo blue, or maybe a Prussian blue. It's pretty dark to be a phthalo. More like a Prussian, I think. Okay. Lapis next is sky. That's in the first set. Set number one. I may have a little bit of graphite in here. Please excuse that if I do, but I really had to draw this because I was afraid I wouldn't fit all the colors if I didn't. Look at that. So pretty. I didn't do this in time to make it into the Dina Wakely Media Challenge of using her color confidence handout, Ranger's color confidence handout. It's Dina Wakely Media's color confidence handout. Next is Ocean. I'm not sure which set, Ocean. Ocean is in the second set, okay. So this is a little bit more green, a little more blue-green, a little more teal than Sky, which is a really sort of a cerulean blue, really. Look at that. Kick up that color. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Fantastic, right? such nice watercolor effects with a little bit of sort of what feels like granulation but some of that may be because I have I gessoed this but it's textured it's most definitely textured gesso so next after ocean is turquoise I'm still going through here I believe that's in the first set I'm sorry I keep bumping you this is sort of a tight fit right now yeah turquoise oops don't wet it did I wet it no. Okay, good. Now I want to dry first. It's like a sea green right there, that turquoise. Really nice. And let me... I need to peel back the paper on this one, don't I? Look at that color. Now I am, you see, I'm scrubbing a little bit hard. I want to get lots of pigment there. But also, you see, I'm just... I mean, I've had these... A, since last year and I haven't used them up even though I have been using them. Oh, my kitty. 
left the fur behind. Okay, let's go back here. This is uphill, so I'm going to pull that color. Also, I have little fibers from the burlap all around here. So, here we go. That's pulled out. I'm just loving this color wheel so far. It's fantastic, right? Okay, next is Peacock, which is similar to tur turquoise, but we're going to find out the difference. This is from the new set. Aquamarine right there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice that Ranger did the work for us in creating this color palette to go by. I mean, we could do it ourselves, right? We know how to put colors together in rainbow order, so to speak. But Ranger did it for us, so it's nice. It's nice that they did that. Next is Marine, which is another dark, really dark color that Dina has come out with. Marine. It's a dark blue-green, muted. Muted, almost gray. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. See, I love color, so it doesn't even... The blues are my favorites. Don't get... I mean, I love blues and turquoises. They're my favorites. You'll see me working with them a lot, but I just love color in general. Pull that out a little bit more. Look at that. It's nice, deep, dark, sultry color right there. That's a sultry color. Okay, next is evergreen. So we're going to kick up the brightness a little bit. That's in the new set. Start off an earthy green. Oh, but look when you wet it, it's like that really sort of really bright green like um, a neutral green. Pull that color out. Okay. Next is that was evergreen. We're to here. Look, we're almost finished. Next is olive. Apparently everyone loves olive, which is also in the new set. Oops. It's a yellow green. Oh look, I have a drop of water there and I don't don't want to touch that. <laughs> still going to be wet there. Yeah, ended up with wet. Okay, that's okay. Now really wet. A little wet and a lot wet. Very leafy yellow green there. Very cool. It's like a green gold in watercolor. Oops. You see, I touched the other and it flowed right in. That's one thing about these, they, they do flow nicely like watercolor. Here's a little bit of color running there. I don't mind that. I'm good with that, it makes me happy actually. Look, this needs a little bit more. Yeah, that's like a green gold. It's very, very golden green there, like a spring green. Next is lime, which is in these first set. Which is, as it says, a lime green. Let's wet it. First set. Trying not to touch now. Oh, I already did by accident. See that olive is flowing in, but that's okay. You'll be able to t still be able to tell in the color wheel how how it works. So after lime is lemon, which is also in the first set, and I have very skinny spot for lemon. And look, it's dirty. Sorry about that, guys. What if I just color up a little bit 
more. What's what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Do I have scratch paper? I think I just had a little bit of pigment mixed on there from being in the container and loose. Oops, wrong spot. There we go. Now wet. I still managed to get that green in there, didn't I? There we go. So that's lemon. Lemon is next to lime and they're buddies right there, look. Okay, after lemon is cheddar. Everyone was waiting for cheddar. <laughs> Such a yummy color, which is an orangey yellow. Had a little bit of that lemon yellow in the wrong spot there, but I think we can still tell. And then, Now when I put this on my jelly plate, oh my gosh, it turned out to be the most buttery yellow when it was mixed with white. So keep that in mind. It's a sunshiny yellow. It's really nice, really nice, flamey, like a flame. Okay, and last but definitely not least, tangerine, which is in the first set. Now these aren't all the colors, right? There are a few more, but those are neutrals on our color chart. They're not going to fit in the color wheel here. They have their own little space. So that's in their first set. And I'll show you those two. Really nice there. Very cool. Okay, so we have all of Dina's colors in a color wheel. The Dina Wakely Scribble Stick color palette. Now let's do the neutrals, which are black, white, elephant, and umber. We'll do those across the page here so we can look at them. So let's do, let's start with umber, which was, that's black, sorry. Let's start with umber, which was in the first set. And let me do dry, just like I've been doing dry. Can you see that? There we go. Okay, now you can see. Dry and wet. Neutral brown, right? And add some water. Pull that out a little bit. There we go. Nice neutral color. Then we'll do Elephant, which is in the new set. Great neutral. Dry, wet, and then water. I'm not doing white, guys. You can't see it on here, so I'm just going to do black next. Black, dry black. If I don't run into the water there. Then wet. And that was black is in the first set. And doop, doop, doop. Again, it has that nice flowy effect. Okay, there we go. So these are all except white of Dina's lovely scribble sticks made with Dina's color confidence color palette that you can find on the Ranger. Again, I'll leave the link down below. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy scribble sticks because they are fantastic. Look at this color. It's very, also very, it's you may notice it's very opaque. So unlike watercolor, it acts like watercolor in that you can add it, but it acts like gouache because it's opaque also. So just keep that in mind when you are using it because you can use it on the craft paper, you can use it on the white paper, you can use it on any of it and the colors when mixed with using the stick directly dipped in water. I mean, look at that fantastic great coverage uh, but you can also use them to get watercolor effects so it's such a versatile
product, also texture. So such a versatile product. I love them. These are, I've had gelatos and, and sort of other kinds of crayons, distress crayons, and well, really I've just had distress crayons, gelatos, and Neo Colors. The Dina Wakely and the Neo Colors are my favorites. So beautiful colors. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.